Canva is one of my absolute favorite platforms for all of the graphic design work that I do as an author, as a course creator and marketing teacher for other creatives. I am in there pretty much every day. And along the way, I have gathered some time-saving hacks, some design tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you today. So I'm going to be walking you through some advice for using Canva if you'd like to use it for your graphic design as well. If you don't yet have a Canva account, I will link it in the description of this video so that you can easily find it. All right, so I am logged into my Canva platform here. If you don't already have an account, you'll want to create one. It's free with options to purchase a Canva Pro account. Everything I'll be sharing with you today is going to just be on the free account. However, there are some benefits to the Pro account that we'll talk about as well. So the first thing that I want to show you is just whenever you log in, of course, it gives you templates here. You can type in what you're looking for here and find projects you already have created as well as templates. Um, typically what I need is right on the homepage. So things like Instagram posts in both square and portrait versions, as well as videos for reels, TikToks, things like that. So I already have a portrait post, Instagram post open here. I prefer the portrait version over a square for Instagram because it takes up more of the feed and that's what people are more used to now with reels. So I typically go for the portrait version when possible. You can zoom in and out here. And then design is where it will give you templates. Some of these are potentially relevant to you. Some of them will not be relevant, but you can of course personalize them to your brand. But let's just go ahead and get into some of the more basic hacks that we have available to us to save time. So of course there's things like text, the text button here and add a text box. But if you are playing around with the design or different elements and you just wanna quickly add a text box, simply just click T on your keyboard and that will open up a text box, which you can then size up. You can type in a size manually. You can choose, you know, whatever fonts that you want. I recommend being consistent with your brand and all of those things just by clicking the T button and then personalizing your text. The other thing to keep in mind is these line elements that will tell you whenever you're in the center or when you're off center. I find that really helpful whenever I'm trying to make things, you know, look even. An effect I get asked about a lot is how you can make it look like your text is typing. All you'll do is go to animate and then you can offer any of these different animations. And the one that's typing is just under writing. It's called typewriter. So if you select this, it will type out the text that you've added. If you are on a pro plan, you can change the speed, the writing style, all of those things as well. So that's the text shortcut. Another shortcut that you should know if you add shapes often is C for circle and it adds a circle and it's going to add it in a default brand color that I already have in my brand kit. However, you can always change that and then you can also type in it as well and it's going to uh, type whatever you'd like and you can change the color of that, that text as you're typing you know, whatever you want to say. And of course, make that bigger so people can read what you're typing. And then finally, the R button will also give you a rectangle shape that you can type in as well. So if you're ever quickly looking for a shape to add to your design, those are some quick keyboard shortcuts for you to save you time. Okay. One of my favorite tips is going to be for photos. As you may know, if you have a pro plan, you can add a brand kit with your brand colors. You can add more than this on the pro plan. I'm currently showing you one from an account that I have done a free trial before. Don't currently subscribe to the pro plan on here. However, I still have these few brand colors in my brand kit. Well, a couple of things that you can do to save you time without the pro plan, if you don't want to invest in that is one, a quick way to pull in colors is to add a photo to your design that already has your brand colors in them. So let's just say, for example, this is, you know, a mock-up of some master classes that are in my creatives content club using a few of my brand colors, like my yellow and my green. Once I've pulled this in, I can easily go to colors and it will show me what colors are in this photo. So I absolutely love this hack. If you don't want to pay for the brand kit or you want to pull in colors from a photo that you're already using, you can easily do that and change the background color to, you know, match that color or, you know, any of the different colors that it's pulling in from this graphic. And so if there's an outfit that you like the color of, for example, 
let me just, this is white, so it's not very exciting. But if I go to you know this background again, it will pull in the different shades that are in this photo. So it can be really easy to make things color coordinated to match your text to the colors that are already in your photo. So if I go to text or hit the T button again as a shortcut, I can then change the color of the text to something that's in this photo. And then I'll make it bigger. And that way I've quickly kind of coordinated this and made it feel like it is all in unison. So that is a hack that I really like to save time on hunting down colors that I might want to use in my graphic. The other thing that I like to do is when you have a pro plan, you can upload logos and there's a specific section for you to find your logos. However, if you don't have the pro plan, a hack is to whenever you upload new files, you can upload pictures, videos, icons, logos, whatever you would like right here, name them before you load them in here. So if you name your photos, something like a keyword that you'll use to find them easily. So for example, if I type in brand, all of my brand photos are going to show up because I named them that before I loaded them in here. So that way it's easy to just find what I'm looking for versus having to scroll through everything. So another example is like poetry. I've named some files poetry. So that way, if I'm looking for that specific graphic, I can pull it up quickly. So naming your files before you load them in here is very, very helpful. Okay. The next thing I want to show you is mockups that are available to you. So if I search for mockups in here, there is an app the mockups by Canva app for you to create realistic mockups of products. There's also these frames. So if you have a book on Kindle or an ebook, something that you want to promote that's like available virtually, you can simply add one of these framed mockups, perhaps like a computer or maybe let's do the tablet one. I like that one a lot. And all this is is a frame for you to upload your photos to. So I'm going to upload my most recent book cover in here. And all I do is, as you can see, if I just drag it over and hover over the mock-up, it will just put it right in there. So now I have my book cover looking like it's on an iPad or a Kindle. And I can, of course, add text that I want to use to promote this book. So mock-ups and frames are really fun. Um, so if I click use app on mock-ups, you can create realistic looking mock-ups. So I could select something like a smartphone. If I made like phone cases, things like that, um, prints, if you're an artist and you create prints, and again, I could just resize this. So it fits on this graphic here, and then you want to insert your image. So I'll go back to this one and just hover over and it's going to load and show up. Now this one's a little bit thin, however, it would still fit in the mock-up or you could trim or crop down your image so that it's the right size for this. But sometimes you have to play around a little bit, but it's so easy to make really quick mock-ups using that feature. So I really like that one as well. Let's hop over to Reels really quick so I can show you how people make really fast moving Reels outside of Instagram or outside of TikTok. So I showed a tutorial of this inside my Creatives Content Club membership a couple months ago, and people didn't know that this was possible. So I wanted to make sure I included it in this tutorial as well. So the first thing is whenever you open up a new real template, it's just going to default typically to a five second blank video. Again, you can go through design and pick different um, things that they've already created for you using their footage, their fonts, and all of that. However, if you want to start from scratch, you can, of course, add text, use the shortcuts that I've shown you to add text, to upload any video files that you may have or photos. But they also have under elements different uh, stock images and video footage as well. If I go to elements and scroll down to photos and videos, I can look from there or you can search a keyword. So let's go with sci-fi just as an example. And once I've typed that in, I can go to graphics to see graphics related to sci-fi, photos, and videos. And of course you can be more specific or 
more broad depending on what you're looking for, but we'll just go with photos from now. Anything with a crown is something that's only available in the pro plan. And so if you're finding that a lot of the images that you want are in the pro plan, it's probably worth just upgrading to that. And so whenever you add an image in here, I can rotate this to fit, you know, the full screen sideways, or I can just drag it out. I'm just going to drag it around and then click to expand and then click here to expand as well so that it fits the shape. And then down here is where you will adjust your length. So I'm going to take this down to one second because I want this to be a little bit of a faster moving video. And then I'm going to hit the plus to add another slide. Now, another hack that saves a little bit more time is if you know that you want everything to be the same length, the next photo to be the same length as well, I'm going to delete that. I just hit delete on my keyboard. I'm going to click here this little three dots and hit duplicate. That way I know that it's one second again. So on this slide, I'm going to delete, just hit delete or hit the trash can. And if you ever need to undo anything, you can just hit undo and click the trash can to delete. And I'm going to add another um, image here. So I'll do this one and fit it in here. Now, obviously it's best to find longer photos where a lot of the context isn't being cut out right clicking and hitting duplicate, deleting this image, and I'll add another one. Let's see, these are all kind of similar looking, aren't they? So I think a better keyword would probably pull up better results if you are a sci-fi author. I'm sure that there are better things out there. Um, but just so you get the picture, these are all one second. And now whenever I go to the very beginning of this video and hit play, you can see that it will move through these different images in one second. You can also, of course, add text. So I'm going to hit T to add a text box. I'm going to adjust the size. And let's just say that I'm adding a hook here. And let's make it even bigger. Let's bold it. So how I'm going to get this on each slide is that I'm going to copy this. And you can do this by hitting right-click copy or control C or command C, depending on what keyboard you're using, what device you're using, and then paste it, control V onto each slide. And I'm going to change this one to this like black color. So it's easier to read and then paste it onto this one as well. And then you'll see that it, it goes to the same spot on each slide so that it doesn't move around, which is really nice as well. And of course, you could also have added the text here first and then duplicated, and then you wouldn't have had to re-add this text box. Um, but that's just a couple of ways of how to do that. So you would just keep going, keep adding. You can even make them shorter if you wanted. If you wanted them to be 0.1 seconds and have it go really fast paced, you could. So you can really kind of make this your own with Canva. And then all you're going to do is hit share and download. And you want to download all of it in one because this is all one part of one video. You can also make videos separately in here. Like if I wanted one 10 second video and then one seven second video, for example, and I made my video in here and it was all ready to go. You can download them separately by hitting download, unselect the ones that you don't want. If I just wanted page five, which is my, you know, 10 second video here, then I can download that as a separate video. So you can, if you'd like to have one file with all of your videos, you could, um, or you can do what I did here, by creating one video with a few different slides that are all one second each. And then that just creates one four second video in total. So I'll bring that back to the beginning, hit play, and you can see the video. And of course, if you wanted the text to be different on each slide, you could do that as well. Inside the Creatives Content Club membership, I deliver a whole pack of templates to our members every single month that are designed, not just general Canva templates, but designed specifically for creatives in mind with the products that you're selling, the strategy that really works for creatives. And so you get a set of reels and TikTok templates every single month. You get a set of graphic templates in both sizes. If you prefer square or you prefer portrait, I give you an engagement and holiday calendar with different tasks that you can tailor to your schedule and follow step-by-step step throughout the month. We also give you caption templates as well as email and newsletter ideas. And again, these templates, um, the graphic templates and video templates are within Canva. And so there's an even more in-depth tutorial on Canva inside the club. 
I will leave the wait list for you in the description if you're interested in joining us the next time we're open for new members. And I'll also, of course, link Canva if you'd like to set up your own account and get started with the platform as well. So there you have it. I hope you gathered some great tips and tricks for using Canva in your graphic design work, whether you are making social media graphics or for your website, for your newsletter, wherever it may be. I will also link the Creatives Club waitlist in the description of this video. When enrollment is open next, you can join us and get an entire content plan handed to you every single month. So you never have to guess what to post. You already have your Canva templates started for you. So you just need to personalize them and post them. And it is designed to save you so much time and energy and help you, of course, get better results too. I will see you in the next video. Bye.